In today's video, we're going to be finding out the answer to a very simple question. Can a three-year-old recreate the best goals from the Premier League? Of course I can. So many of you have been asking me to get Joshua involved in this series, and to be honest, for a while I thought, can he really do it? Of course I can. This is Joshua's chance to step up, so let's see what he can do. So this first goal that Joshua's going to try and attempt is the two-all draw from Leeds versus Brighton. Jack Harrison got the equaliser here. He has no idea what he's going to be doing today. They can't even see you down there. He's run off already. This is not going to go well, I tell you. So this is the goal that you're going to try and recreate. You're going to whip it into the top right-hand corner. Do you reckon you can do that? It's peasy. You're going to find this hard enough as it is. Doing it on your bike is going to make it... <laughs> Maybe let's not do that. So Jack Harrison's goal. Who? Four leads. Who? Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's go. My face can do the goal. Strike it up into that corner. You've got to hit it here. Oh, right. Left side. Left side out there. Jimmy Jack Harrison. What on earth is that? Water break. Is that going to help you recreate it? Yeah. Oh, too low. This is hard. Oh. That's a massive kick. <laughs> oh, it's a good finish. Yeah. Say it was a bit low, I need it higher. I'm not going to say it anymore. Okay. Oh, I'm lucky. That boy can be goal. No, this is you trying to recreate the goal. No, that's your turn. Yes! It's very difficult, isn't it, to recreate Premier League goals. Did you do it? Yeah. No, you didn't. But don't worry, Daddy doesn't always succeed. We're going to move on and we're going to try another one, okay? Yes. So while Joshua's climbing in the tree, I'm going to tell you, and if you're listening as well, you can learn what this next goal is that you're going to try and regret. If this video was titled, Can Joshua Find a Spider? We would have succeeded. So the first goal was for Leeds. This next goal is against Leeds. Who? It's an incredible goal for Wolves by a player called Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Seriously, Joshua? <laughs> Get it out of my face. This was an incredible goal. Could potentially be goal of the month. And Joshua's going to have a go at trying to do it. Melier does well to clear the ball with a header on the edge of the box. It falls to a Leeds player, who I think tries to knock it on, obviously, to one of his players. But it falls to Johnny, who hits it first time on the volley. Loving Melier, who's scrambling back to try and save the ball. To make this slightly more possible for Joshua to do, because it definitely is isn't at the minute. I'm going to do the defensive header from the keeper and then he's going to try and lob me. Um, let's see if he can do that. To be honest, if he does that, I'll be pretty impressed. Oh, not bad. Are you even trying? I'm just tricking you. Can you not trick me and actually try and get the goal, please? You've only got one more attempt. This is his fifth attempt. I always just have five attempts. Daddy, have more five. Busted. Jolly volley. I've just watched it back and the technique on that volley was superb. High five. There's only 10 games to go in the I Premier died. League. Oh, I know. And who's going to win the league? They could potentially do it. It's still not that close, but it feels like, obviously it is. With every game, we're getting that step closer. We've still got to play City. We've still got to play Liverpool. Uh, we've still got to play Chelsea. There's some big games. I still will win. I hope so, mate. I really do. With every win, the confidence builds. Yes, what do you want to tell them? You want to show you running? <laughs> Super speedy. I've just had an idea for another video, Joshua. Maybe we give you your FIFA rating. We could rate you on all six different stats and then give you a total FIFA rating. Let me know if you want to see that. That will be an epic video. Do you want to do another one? Not anymore. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it anymore. Okay. I still have two more goals for him to recreate, but he's at his limit. To recreate one out of two isn't bad. I will be taking over now and trying to recreate the second two goals. Come on, you can do it. Thanks, mate. See you soon. 
third goal is from Wolves' 1-0 victory against Spurs. Who? And it's a volley from Traore. Lloris makes a save from a shot which is hit pretty central. The ball ricochets out to Traore on the edge of the 18-yard box. And the technique he uses is incredible. He jumps and side foot volleys it into the top left-hand corner. And I think it comes off the crossbar as well. Just to make it even more difficult for me to try and do. Joshua had the easy ones, didn't he? 40-yard volley, 18-yard volley. Yeah, this is more difficult. He's peasy. I'm going to get to the pitch for this one to try and recreate it. And I'm going to give myself five attempts, you know, like I always do. Daddy, have more thighs. That's the technique, but it's the wrong side and it didn't go in the goal. Oh! Why on earth did you decide to kick a football like this? I've got no idea. Oh, come on! Hey! I hit it in the totally wrong way, though, didn't I? So it wasn't off the crossbar, but it was still a top pins finish, and I'm going to take that. Archie made some good saves there as well. Well done, mate. He's not going to get any saves on this next one, no, I'll tell you. And I have saved the best till last. This goal in this game, what this moment meant, especially as an Arsenal fan. But I think just in general, even if you're not, you'll appreciate how special this was and what it could potentially mean in the title race. We were 2-0 down against Bournemouth. We've clawed our way back to 2 all, And it's the 90, I think it's the 97th minute. It's the, basically the last kick of the game. Corner's whipped in. It's cleared from the header. Reese Nelson's on the edge of the box. Touch from his chest. Kick with the right foot. The ball bounces and then he volleys it with his left foot across the goal in into the goal <laughs> keeper had absolutely no chance and as i said this could be such a defining moment in the premier league title race winning a game in that way is almost better than just winning it one nil because it showed character passion the desire that we had to come from behind and to win that game if we do go on to win the league there'll be moments throughout the season we'll look back on and be like that was a key moment and this will definitely be one of them let me see if i can do it He's not going to get any saves on this next one. This is on my weak foot, yeah? Just remember that. It's Reese's weak foot as well, to be fair. <laughs> Always difficult recreating these goals when the player themselves doesn't necessarily mean to control the ball in the way that they did. I found the bottom corner, but it's not high enough. That's a good goal! Well, that was a really nice goal. I'm gonna have one final attempt though to see if I can do anything better. Great goal, but it's not what I want, is it? Let's face it. Well, that too isn't bad. Can you look this way, please? So there we go then, guys. That brings us to the end of a very different video, but a brilliant one. I hope you'll agree. If you did enjoy it, drop it with a thumbs up. That's what they should do, shouldn't they? Yeah, drop it with a thumbs up. He's very tired. He needs to go for a nap. It's hard work, isn't it? It's tiring recreating these goals. So to answer the question that I posed at the start of the video, can a three-year-old recreate the best goals from the Premier League? Of course I can. No, not, not really. <laughs> See you next time. I'm just tricking you. Bye. What did Daddy tell you not to do? I told him not to climb. I said not to climb the tree because you might fall and then eventually what happened? Oh!